السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لسان يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخير اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهل وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما آمين يا رب العالمين May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this task easy for us that we are trying to understand the beautiful language of the beautiful book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah accept it from us Amin ya rabbal alameen uh, My dear, uh, in the beginning, the first lesson we understood that in a sentence we will see three types of words, right? Actually, basically Arabic grammar has a three type of words there was one ism, right? Then there was feral, and third was harf. Okay, these three are total parts of speech. Total three types of words are there in Arabic language. Uh, from these three, ism we have understood, right? And I had given you assignments you have done. Um, uh, we understand uh, about ism. Uh, four uh, properties of ism needs to be understand. We need to understand four properties of ism. That is its gender, its number, its type, its status, position of that ism, right? So Alhamdulillah, we have understood them. And we have done some phrases also, uh, like the combination of two uh, isms, two asma. Isms plural is asma, right? Two asma or... Uh, uh, half also we have done harfajar. Uh, so till now harfajar is enough for for us. Harfajar half means the prepositions or the conjunctions, right? Uh, so that's also not a big deal. Harfajar I have shared the list also yesterday with you people. Okay, so that that's very small category. Half is very small category. Ism ism was the biggest category. I told you in the beginning also that ism is the biggest category in uh, Arabic language almost 80 percent words are ism right so it if you understand ism very well it means 80 percent in arabic to understand and half you can say only maybe they are five percent and fail this is the second last uh, second biggest that is almost 15 percent and maybe if you can uh, increase a little with the it's its ratio maybe it's 18 to 2 something like that right but anyways, um, uh, we have we have understood a major part of uh, Arabic language that is ism, and I congratulate you all on that. Right? If you have understood well, if you feel still you need practice, you keep practicing. There is no problem. Even uh, there there is a weekend now. We have off break, so I'll give you more assignments to one more assignment to be more confident on ism. Okay, inshallah. Uh, so today we are starting the next uh, type of words that is fair. If you see any word, it will be either ism or fail or half, right? So today, inshallah, we'll start understanding fail. In fail, <clears throat> um, in fail, you know, a word that shows the happening of a task with a particular time frame, right? That is um, a verb in English and in Arabic it is fi'il. In English, there are three types of uh, verbs. Yani, we understand there is past, okay? There is um, past, present. I'm sorry, I write with the mouse and then it, uh, it, it delays and the writing is also not good. present and then future okay these three you understand very well okay urdu also has three uh, urdu in urdu language also we say past tense ko hum bolte hain fi'l-e-maadi maazi urdu mein hum z sound nikalte hain maazi uh, 
प्रेजेंट हाल बोलते हैं और फ्यूचर को मुस्तबिल बोलते हैं ठीक है यू नो दम बट इन अरेबिक अमेजिंगली जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था ना कि इन अरेबिक यानी अल्लाह सुबहान वाली यूज लेस वर्ड एंड गिव मोर मीनिंग्स राइट तो इसमें लाइक like, और जैसे वैसे लाइक नाउन्स वेयर देर देर आर नॉर्मली टू टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर सिंगुलर्स एंड प्लूरल्स राइट बट हियर इन अरेबिक वी सी एन अदर टाइप ऑफ नंबर दैट इज डूअल ठीक है तो अरेबिक में एक डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ यानी नंबर भी है इन इसम इट्स मोर एक्सटेंडेड बट इन वर्ड इट इज यू नो शॉर्टेंड इन ऑफ थ्री इट इज ओनली टू ये दोनों जो है दे कम अंडर वन वर्ड दैट इज मुबारक ठीक है तो जो पास्ट है वो फैले मावी है ठीक है इसको परफेक्ट भी कहलाते हैं द परफेक्ट दे दे से Uh, अच्छा मैं आपको बता दी उन्होंने लिखा है कि द द अरेबिक वर्ब हैज ओनली थ्री फॉर्म्स ठीक है आई टेल यू एक्चुअली एक्चुअली दे आर टू ठीक है और फिर थर्ड इज टेकन इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द सेकंड आई एक्सप्लेन यू इनशाला बेसिक आर ओनली टू ओके नंबर वन मावी द परफेक्ट यानी मावी मतलब एक्शन दैट हैज हैपेंट हैज एंडेड कम्प्लीटेड ठीक है इट हैज बीन परफेक्टेड यानी खत्म हो चुका है वो काम तो वो मादी है ओके जैसे एज यू नो द पास्ट इट डिनोट्स एन एक्शन विच वॉज कम्प्लीटेड एंड फिनिश एट द इंडिकेटेड टाइम एंड इज ऑफन रेफर टू द पास्ट राइट दैट इज पास्ट टेंस ओके एंड द सेकेंड इज द इम इम परफेक्ट इम परफेक्ट मीन इट इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन इट्स नॉट परफेक्ट इट हैज नॉट बीन परफेक्टेड ओके द इम परफेक्ट कॉल्ड मोबारे In Arabic, it is written like this. ठीक है? Al fi'alul mudare. It refers to both the present and the future, as I explained before. Uh, uh, present and future for an incomplete action. Maybe like it's like I'm teaching you, right? I'm teaching right now. I'm teaching you in present, and it will continue maybe for the next fifty minutes or forty minutes, right? so it is it is showing now also and the future also so this is fairly mubare okay um yes and from these are the two basic from fairly mubare we make another fail that is called fairly amr okay um uh, yani order karna the imperative called amr it implies to an order or desire or wish or supplication when you make dua you say oh allah please give this give me this or do this right or it is a wish also i wish it it should be done like this okay and desire or order right these all types of they they come under same yani the style of stru the structure of the sentence will be same right and it is derived from fale mudare only that's why i don't consider it as another another fail but because it also has its structure so they have <clears throat> given it like that basically you need to learn about these two okay so amongst these two today inshallah we are discussing fale mawi okay we'll see how to recognize fale mawi okay acha before going to fale mawi uh, there is another important thing to understand that is uh, uh, the arabic verb is mostly mostly right not always mostly triliteral yani al thulathi al mujarrad yani thulathi if you know the arabic alphabet uh, arabic counting it is a thulatha means 3 right wahid itnan thalatha तो सलासा मीन थ्री तो असलासी ट्राई ऑल्सो मीन थ्री राइट ट्राई लिटरल यानी थ्री लेटर्स वाला दैट इज इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द रूट ऑफ थ्री कॉन्सोनेंट देर आर वॉवल्स एंड कॉन्सोनेंट राइट आर कॉल्ड रेडिकल्स इन दिस बुक दीज टर्म्स आर यूज ठीक है ऑन थ्री कॉन्सोनेंट यानी थ्री लेटर्स और वो लेटर्स हाँ अल्फाबेट्स के जो होते हैं ठीक है कॉन्सोनेंट इज ऑपोजिट ऑफ वॉवल्स राइट एनीवेज वॉवल्स का थोड़ा रूल विल बी डिफरेंट 
uh, are, do you, how who knows what are the arabic vowels can you tell me what are the arabic vowels any volunteer please miss alif yeah and wow right barakallahu alif wow and ya these three are uh, uh, vowels right the rest all are consonants so three consonants if it, it has the any verb it will be called sulasi mujarad only three letters right some may have uh, four very very less very less uh, and sometimes in these three letters, we add one letter more and make another new word, okay, <clears throat> with little different meaning. That will uh, go in detail maybe uh, some other time. But right now, I'm talking about Sulasi Mujarad, the verbs which has only three letters, okay? Okay. Uh, and the example is, Kataba, kataba, right? Ka, the, and ba, three letters. Okay, it means uh, to write. Kataba actually is a verb that means wrote. And the literal meaning of kataba is he wrote. Yani, kataba, yani writing ke liye bola jata hai. But jab hum kehte hai, kataba is format mein bolte hai. When we use this format of fatha on ta, fatha on ka, fatha on ba, with this format, it means he wrote. And you see, this is the past tense translation, right? He wrote. So this meaning is given by the three consonants, that is ka plus ta plus ba with fatha, all fatha. Okay, na? Ka, ta, ba. Ka, ta, ba. Okay, so this is past, past tense. Uh, similarly, another example is noon plus swad plus ra. With fatha, fatha, fatha always, right? Like this. Na sora. Na sora. Right? Short vowels. Its root meaning is to help. Yani meaning is nasr. Nasr means help. But na sora, when you say it in this format, it means he helped. Similarly, fataha. Literal meaning of fat means open, opening, right? But fataha means he opened. Okay, I've given you three examples. Uh, okay, now, uh, just this is very important to understand that we will use this because fail, we are saying fail. Fail means verb. So to understand it, we are using this uh, sample. Fail, same word, fail. That means verb. So we are using these three letters only. Fa ain lam, which is making fail. Fa ain lam. Okay, uh, to, uh, uh, we will see the parallel letters of different verbs. Uh, so, ka, ta, ba, right? There, what are the three letters? Ka, ta, and ba. So, ka is fa kalima. Yani, it is replacing fa, right? On the first place, fa is the first letter. So, ka is the first letter in this verb. Ain is the second letter. And ta is the second letter here. So parallel of ayn is ta. And lam is the last letter here. So parallel is ba here, right? So we see the parallel letters, right? And to, to, to make, a, uh, to make uh, it easy for us to understand the first, second, third, instead of this, we will use the word fa kalima, ayn kalima, and Lam kalima. I hope it's clear. It's understood now for you people. Ke fa kalima matlab the first letter. Ain kalima matlab second letter. And lam kalima matlab third letter. Okay. So for, for because we will be dealing with three letters word. So where the first letter, what is the first letter? What is the second? What is the third? We'll say fa kalima, kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima, right? So kataba, baraba, he struck, he hit. Nasara, he helped. Fataha, he opened like this. Samia, he heard. Right? Karuma, uh, he. <clears throat> Is Abdullah, uh, what did you say? 
uh, Ibrahim, I couldn't understand. What did you say? You can turn your mic on and tell me. Miss, for Abdul, it, it does not have any vowels. So will it be included? In what? It does not have In what? This, it does not have any vowels like Aleph, Ya yeah, and Wow. So will it be included in this category? No, 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 no. Wait. Abdul. It's a noun. It's not a verb. Okay? Abdul means slave. Abd means actually slave. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. Uh, yani, uh, in the nouns also, there may be three letters in the nouns also, but we are dealing with the verb. Verb will not only have um, uh, three letters, but it also have a structure, a clear structure, okay? a format. We'll, we'll discuss it right now, inshallah. So it's, it's not the case that any, uh, any word with three consonants will be a feral. No, it can be an, an ism also. We have already understood, right? Okay. Um, in simple triliteral verb, the first and the third radicals are always maftuh for uh, for uh, fele maabi now remember we are discussing fele maabi right i have introduced you what is a fail i have introduced you it will have three letters i have introduced you it the first letter will call will be called fa kalima second will be called ain kalima third will be called lam kalima i have explained you this all right and now we are just focusing on fele maabi past tense right in Fale Mabi, the first and the last, yani third, radicals, yani letters, will always be maftuh. Now you understand what does maftuh means, yani with fatha, right? With fatha. Uh, but the second or the middle, yani second, because there are only three, so the second is the middle one, is not constant. It 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 is yani. It may be maftu, maybe uh, with fatha, right? Maftu means with fatha, maksur means with the kasra, and madmu means with wamma, right? Thus, a simple trilateral verb slash mujarrad may be symbolized as follow. Okay, so number one, it can be yani with all uh, yani faala. Right, a uh, 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 sound. Yani, they can. F will always have a fatha. Lam will always have a fatha. Okay. Ain may have a different haraka. Ain. It may be uh, fatha. It may be kasra. It may be bumma according to the pronunciation. And there is no difference in the meaning. It is just the pronunciation is different. Okay. A faala ke pattern pe na sora kataba fataha he opened jalasa he sat haraja he went he he exited the khala he came in or entered tike is sari faala ke pattern pe hai faala ke pattern pe tike where all three letters are having fatha okay now second case can be that fa and lam always will have fatha. We already discussed. Ain is with kasra. There will be few words, few verbs in which ain letter will have a kasra. Okay. And th there is not a change in the meaning. Why this is like that? Why this is ain with kasra? Because some words are pronounced like that. The Arabs use them like that, okay? Like Samia, they will never say Samaa, never, because this word is pronounced like this Samia, right? So by because Arabic definitely this I I told you before also this whole grammar has been created by the non-Arabs, okay? So whatever they have heard, they try to put it into rules, grammar rules, so that we can understand. So they heard that some words they pronounce with this 
pronunciation that uh, third kalima uh, second kalima takes a kasra so some words are always with uh, kasra on second letter samia he heard dekhe samaat ka matlab sunna hota hai right to samia he heard kuch extra meaning nahi hai beech mein jaise yahan pe jalasa he sat jalasas baithne ko kehte hain to jalasa he sat samaa sunne ko kehte hain to samia he heard right but the pronunciation is like that alima he knew fariha he became happy or he was glad Shariba, he drank. Waritha, he inherited. Radia, he was pleased. Khashiya, he was afraid. Okay? So all these examples, if you see, they, the second letter has a kasra. So this could be an other uh, structure. What okay? was the first structure? Tha? Fa'ala. The second structure is fa'ila. Right? With ayin, ayin with kasra. And third structure is fa'ula. Very, very, very few letters, a few words are on this pattern. Very few. Hardly you will see any verb on this pattern. Maximum pattern, maximum words are on fa'ala pattern. In Fergai Maadi, maximum are on fa'ala pattern. Okay? And the second majority is fa'ila pattern. And third and last is, and the least, yani very few are on faula pattern to faula pattern pe dekhe sharufa he was been honored qabuha he was ugly hasuna he was <clears throat> good or beautiful bauda he was far away aghuma he was great nabula he was noble da'ufa he was weak karuma he was noble he was honored Sharufa, Karuma, almost same meaning. <clears throat> Karuma, noble, okay. Uh, till now, any question, any confusion, my dears? If you have any confusion, you can please ask me. Otherwise, we'll move next. You can write in the chat. It's okay if it is clear to you. Or you can give me thumbs up, then we'll move next. <clears throat> okay, great. Two feedbacks are there that it's clear. What about others? Okay, one more. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's clear to all. Alhamdulillah. Great. Okay, so now I'll show you the pattern. Okay. Uh, you have understood the basics. Now, inshallah, we will move to... Uh, okay, the interesting thing. Now, in, uh, in, in other languages, uh, the verbs don't have uh, different words for different pronouns. For example, I am reading, you are reading, she is reading, he is reading, they are reading, right? So how we are using it, the verb is separate, but I, we, you, they pronouns are used separately, right? But in Arabic, there will be only one word that will show the verb plus pronoun. That's very interesting, okay? <clears throat> okay, so I, I'll show you here. From here it is starting. So the first is Zahaba, okay? The first is, for example, it means he went. Zahaba, he went. Now, they can, there is only one word. Zahaba. Right? Uh, Fa'ala pattern. Pe. This is the pattern of Fa'ala. Zahaba, he went. The subject, he is hidden pronoun. Okay? You can leave it. 3M. I think I'll tell you in a simple way. So, the mere matter pronoun, okay, and musta tor ka matter chupa hua, hidden. So, if I ask you what is the the haba, if you say it always will mean uh, he went. So, what is the hidden pronoun in the haba? You will say he. Yani in Arabic, what is the Arabic for he? Hua. Remember? 
uh, let's quickly revise once um, uh, the pronouns table, what I had asked you to revise, just a minute. Let me see. <clears throat> It's already open. Sorry. Uh, I asked you to revise the pronouns. Take it, the table. I'll go from here. Uh, Yes. So if you see this table, right? I hope you can see. Uh, so whoa is he? Huma, they both. Whom, they all. This is plural, right? So these separate pronouns, they are detached pronouns, right? Uh, and they uh, uh, will be in the words also hidden, hidden. Yani, I'm just telling you the meaning that Hua means he, Huma means they both for male, third person male, whom means they all. Hia means she, third person female singular. Huma means they both females. Same. This is same. Huma Huma. Same for male and female dual. Okay? And Hunna is they all for female students. For yani for, for females, any female. Hunna, they all. Okay, that is for third person. Now move to second person. Anta means you, singular, male. Antuma, you both, male. Antum, you all, male. Anti with kasra. Kasra is not visible, but you just make it uh, clear in your mind that anti. Ta with fatha is male, anti with kasra is female. So female you. If I'm talking to a female, I will say anti, right? You uh, one and antuma, you both and antunna, you all female students, right? Just look at the, the pattern. Hunna, they all female. Antunna, you all female, right? So it's the second person and third person different. In the second person, you notice the sound is always there. Like in Urdu, we say second person, we say kya kehte? tum, tum kya kar rahe ho? tum sab. Yani, waise to aap bhi bolte hain respect ke liye, but tum, jo ek word use hota hai, to ta, ta, ta sound is prominent in second person. Like, aap Urdu se yaad rakh sakte hain. Jaisa tum, tum hota hai na, so, the third sound is very pro, pro, prominent in this uh, second person. Because the second person is the one that we call you, right? Or you call me in Arabic, um, I mean, for respect. So, uh, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna. Did you notice? All has the, the, the sound in it. That is second person. But uh, the, uh, <clears throat> dual are same. Antuma, antuma. Antum, antunna is different for male, female. Okay, plural. Or singular also is different. Anta, anti. Now, first person, that is for myself. Okay? Or our, ourselves. Hum, humare liye jo hai. Main aur hum. That is first person. So, ye hai ana. Okay? Ana, I. And nahnu, we. Chahe we too or we all. For dual and plural, it is same. Okay, so these are the pronouns. Now, in the words, these pronouns will be hidden. Okay, these pronouns will be hidden. They will not come separately. In one word only, they will come. I'll show you. Okay, so when you say the haba, it will translate as he went. He. There is no who was a haba. Who was the translation? He ki translation, huwa, is not separately mentioned. He is hidden in it. That's why this is called zameer. Zameer matter pronoun. So he is a pronoun. Yani zameer hai. Aur mustatar chupi hui hai. Hidden hai. Thik hai? Aur mustatar aap kaha se yaad rakh sakte hai? Satar hai toh hai na word. Aapne jab namaz ka topic padha hooga. When you study about salah. Thik hai? Toh kehte hai ke satar should be covered. Sabtar kya hota hai? The parts of body which has to be hidden. Hai na? Padha hai na satar? Uh, what is the satar for uh, males, Ibrahim? Do you know? For Salah, what is the satar for males? 
for boys. Yes, miss. It yeah. should be from the knees yeah. till the belly button. Yeah, from the navel to the knees. That is the satar for male. Okay. And uh, anyone can tell me the satar for female? Any volunteer female? Female students? What is the satar for female for Salah? Whole body. It's the entire go. body. Yeah, entire body except? Hands and face. Hands and face. So the whole body is satar. What does it mean? Whole body has to be hidden except hands and face, right? So satar means hidden. So that's why this is mustatar, hidden. Mustatar, hidden. Uh, Zameer and mustatar, hidden pronoun. So what are the hidden pronouns? Um, sorry. <clears throat> In the verbs, the hidden pronouns will be there. Zahaba mein kaun sa hidden pronoun hai? He. Zahaba, ek alif add ho gaya. So it means they both went. So isme alif jab add hota, subject is alif. Yani, uh, Achha, subject is alif. Uh, uska matab hai, they both. Thik hai? Aap samaj lein ke huma add ho gaya. Ya waise iska clear uh, alif bhi aapko nazar aa rahe. Zahabu, they went. Isme wu jo hai, wow in the end. Uh, they, it means ke they all went. Zahabat, one ta is added now. Dekhe, additions kaha pe ho rahe? Thode thode se changes in the end. Jaise fail hai maadi means the, the action has ended. Hai na? So the change has happened in the end. The habit, ikta with sukoon, ठीक है? तो this means she went. जब ta है ना with sukoon, that means she went, ठीक है? When the habit with that ta one alif is added, that means they both went females, ठीक है? Or the habina, right? This ba has been sukoon, in sukoon, and then a noon is added, the habana. Uh, to this noon uh, will show that they all went. The habata. Now, from here, the six first six are uh, third person. They, 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 translation they, he, she, they, they, but from seventh, uh, Second person has started. Okay, so which sound was coming? Like Anta, Antuma, was there? So Zahar, tell me. Remember, Anta was the pronoun. Second person, the first pronoun, Anta, you one male. So Zahar, tell me. Anta, Zahar, tell me. Zahar, tell me. You went. That's for singular one male. Okay. Zahar, Antuma, you both went. Like Antuma was the pronouns, right? Zahar, Antuma, you both went. Zahar, Tum. Tum sab gay. You all went. This is for male. Second person. Ab dekhen zahab ti. Agar ta with kasra you see. You see a ta with kasra. It is a female uh, uh, verb. Thik hai? Or second person. Singular female. You went. Jaysi anti tha. Anti zahab ti. Thik hai? Anti kya tha? You one female singular. So, Zahabati, you went. You one female went. Zahabatuma, you both went. Male, female, ke liye same hai Zahabatuma. Zahabatunna. Noon is always a sign for female. In the end, noon. Isko noon in iswa bhi kehte hai. Thik hai? Jaysay hunna tha na. Pronouns mein kya tha? Hunna. Thik hai? To hunna, uh, uh, wo male ki, uh, female, uh, third person ke liye tha. Zahabna. Or antunna was for second person plural female. Okay? So, antunna tha, to was zahab tunna ban gaya, right? Tunna sound jo hai. You all female went. Achha, ab uske liye kya tha? Uh, ana, for myself, right? Ana. So, wo kis se show raha yaha pe? Ta se. Ta vib vamma. Zahab tu. I went. Zahab na, in the end, one noon leaf na stands for we we went okay so there are total 14 uh, words 14 different words to show in the table form it is given like this okay 
in the table form it is given like this and you have to learn this it is extremely important to learn this right so uh, the first one in this table you just remember this table in the pronouns also we used this table that there is third person first male and then female okay singular dual plural the same table which we understood for pronouns singular dual plural and as i said the interesting thing is that the pronouns are hidden in it in the verb in other languages we use verb separately and pronouns separately and then we make a sentence. But here, uh, in one word, there is a hidden pronoun and there is a verb also. Okay? So, fa'ala, always in Arabic, the first, uh, in fa'ala madi, the first word is the pure letters. All the next will be with addition. Okay? Here, the addition is only alif. Okay, na? Here, this alif. Here, wow, alif is the addition. Here, ta is the addition in the end. Here, ta alif is the addition. Here, noon is the addition. Take it. Here, ta is the addition with fatha. Ta with kasra. Ta with dhamma. Take it. In sub me, singulars me, if you see, if you notice, I'll just uh, write yaha pe sara. In all these singulars, one ta is added. Can you see? Take it. Here, Ta is added with sukoon. Here, ta is added with fatha. Here, ta is added with kasra. Here, ta is added with dhamma. All ta's. But every ta has a different pronoun. Ta with sukoon means she. Ta with fatha means you, but for male. Ta with kasra means you, but for female. Ta with dhamma means I. Take it. Uh, yeah, so this you have to learn. This table you have to learn. And then we can easily understand uh, the whole words. Uh, for example, uh, it could be with any word. This is fa'ala. Right? We have just practiced with the zahaba. Right? Zahaba, zahaba, zahabu, zahabat, zahabata, zahabna, zahabta, zahabtuma, zahabtum, zahabti, zahabtuma, zahabtunna. Zahabtu, Zahabna. This is same. Zahabna is same. Okay? And um, he went, they both went, they all went. She went, they all went. Uh, they, they two went, they all went. Right? Like this. Any question, my dears? Till now? Or is that clear? And it is very important to learn this by heart. Okay? You have to learn this uh, so that when uh, you see different verbs in, um, in the Quran, you can recognize, oh, it is on the pattern of fa'alna. So it means she, uh, they all did. Okay? You have to recognize the pattern. Uh, let me open another book. Uh, just, okay. Uh, um, Let's see, they have given the examples. If we can say instead of other, just skip this four letters. We can, we are not going to do four letters. Achha. No, I think for today that that's enough. Uh, your homework will be that I'll give you uh, some verb to make, you will draw the same table, same way, okay? You will draw the table like this and I'll give you at least two verbs and you will make them into this table. For example, maybe uh, one I can give the haba, one kharaja or uh, I'll give you three, four. You can choose any two and you have to uh, make all these, uh, uh, you know, verbs uh, from that. Okay, with the translation you have to write. And they say that <clears throat> ah, they have given some, uh, you know, keys. Ke, they are identical. So they have given keys like that. And this is the same. So they have made a hashtag. Just to, you, you can just see here. I will share this book also uh, with you people. So if you can uh, 
you know, print it for your reading or you can refer it soft copy. It's fine. Okay. I'll share this proposal with you. So, okay, fine. Here we end our class, inshallah. If you don't have any question, uh, hopefully, inshallah, uh, you will practice it over the weekend. Uh, so when we meet in the next class for another concept, uh, you are comfortable uh, with this concept before moving to the next. Maybe this is fairly madi ma'roof, yani active tense. You, you know that, uh, and I, I, I'm sure you know that there's a concept of active voice and passive voice, right? Active voice and passive voice in uh, verbs. So this is active voice, okay? Because the pronoun, hidden pronoun is there as a doer. Who did? He did, she did, I did, you did, we did. This is all active verb. Uh, but there is a concept of passive voice also in Arabic. Okay? So before going to that, I want you to be confident in this. Okay? Inshallah. So here we end our class. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfirka wa natubu ilayka. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiul alim. Wa tub alayna inna ka anta tawabu rahim. Amin ya rabbal alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazakumullahu khairan kathira. Barakallahu feekum.